Hello everyone, welcome to Topper IS. So as part of our daily series, today also we will be looking into a particular topic, keeping in mind mains. Okay. So the topic that we are going to see today is genetically modified crops, GM crops. Okay. So the question is, why did we pick up the issue? So if you are already following the newspapers as well as our series, see there was a news with respect to GM rubber. Okay. GM rubber sampling being planted in Assam so that was developed by Rubber Research Institute of Kerala. So initially this was there in news. Uh, Kerala was opposed to GM rubber in 2011-12 also it was in news. Okay. Now the sampling has been planted in Assam. So question might come uh, in prelims as well as in mains. Okay. So genetically modified crops. Uh, let's get started then. With respect to genetically modified crops, see uh, what are GM crops? These are, uh, there is a alteration, there is modification in the genetic material. Okay. So GM crops are the ones in which genetic material DNA has been altered. So why do we alter it? We alter it to achieve a desired quality or trait. So what is the desired quality or trait? So maybe a higher resistance to insects, resistance to pest, or more resistance to you know, drought-like conditions. So these are all the desired qualities that we expect in crops. And these kind of desired qualities are achieved by altering the genetic material. So what do you mean by altering the genetic material? You will be in, uh, adding a new kind of gene taken from other plant species or even from other organisms also addition or deletion of certain genetic material okay and that is how you mean a uh, modification of genetic material so gm crops are those where you see modification of genetic material to achieve a desired quality so the technology is referred with the term gene technology or recombinant dna technology okay and the resulting crop the crop that we get we call it as a genetically modified crops so that is what gm crops also with the other name genetically engineered or transgenic crops okay so question comes why gm crops because we already have crops right food crops food production is going on so we uh, why do we still are you know why why there is a necessity of going to gm crops because there are certain reasons why we want to go for gm crops see uh, these crops have high resistance so high resistant to diseases, pests, insects, and herbicides. Okay, so this makes it you know uh, very uh, profitable for uh, you know uh, it saves crop from these kind of pest insects and all herbicides that uh, results in higher yield. Okay, so example you know insect resistance is achieved by incorporating into food plant the gene uh, which produces a toxin. It is obtained from Bacillus thuringiensis (Bt). So you might have come across Bt cotton, Bt cotton, right? So Bacill Bt is Bacillus thuringiensis. From there, you are obtaining a, a gene that produces a toxin, so that provides a crop with a insect resistance. So this is how it is done. So moment there is resistance to insects, pest, and all, obviously the crop yield going crop yield is going to be increasing. So that is the one of the reason why we go for GM crops. And another thing in the context of global warming and climate change also, GM crops are very important. You know, uh, uh, global warming, climate change, resulting to extreme weather conditions, like drought conditions, floods, all those things, cold, heat. So everything is going to be on extreme level. So in such kind of situations, GM crops will be, you know, severe because they're able to tolerate uh, cold heat, drought and salinity problems which may arise as a consequence of global warming and climate change. So this is one more reason why we go for GM crops and food security. You know, uh, global population, so population is always growing and even urbanization is happening. So increasing number of people, so stomachs have to be filled, right? So we need food 
food production has to take place so gm crops are one of the possible solution to this and even urbanization so urbanization characterized by increasing number of people in the urban areas so different lifestyles and increasing people in secondary and tertiary sector so less number of people you know uh, engaged in agriculture and all so this may also you know reduce the food production and all so gm crops offer solution to such problem of uh, global population and urbanization also so food security will be met so sustainable development goal will be achieved then economic benefits as we already seen it improves the yield as it is resistance to pest insects and all so moment the yield is more obviously farmer is going to benefit in terms of increasing his income and gm crops also have a longer shelf life so longer time they will be for a fresh and you know that makes it uh, easier to even transport to longer distances also so greater market for farmer also so these are all the possible economic benefits so as the thing uh, uh, technology is a double edged sword so you when you have a positive you will also have a negative also so there are number of concerns that have been raised against gm crops as well so what are these concerns so one concern is you know uh, gm crops may decrease species diversity so how do they uh, so diversity in the sense variety so variety of species we have on earth so gm crops may decrease this variety in the number of species how do they do it see for example you have insect resistant plants so gm crops insect resistance but you know this might threaten intend you know destruction of insect itself right because it is dependent on plants for its food but now because of toxicity and all those things it is not getting the food and that will lead to death of a particular insect species so that is how gm crops may decrease species diversity on the earth okay and diversity is very important uh, keeping in mind you know food chain food web all those things then gm technology could also result in the transfer of genes from one crop to another creating super weeds so weeds uh, basically unwanted plants so super weeds uh, such kind of weeds which are you know immune to more uh, common you know uh, weed control methods so this might also arise because you know transfer of genes takes place uh, so transfer of gene might happen from a crop to a weed so that will lead to resulting a super weeds which are having higher resistance power also so these are the environmental concerns not only environmental concerns we also have health concerns so what are the health concerns is that studies have already shown a strong correlation between gm crops and birth defects cancers kidney injury diabetes autism and alzheimer's so there is a strong relation between these two so this is a possible health concern then we also have economic concerns you see uh, they do not provide high yields as promised so how do they how this is justified because you see for instance high yields in mustard is you know from five countries which do not go gm mustard do not grow gm mustard like uk france poland germany and czech republic and countries which are growing gm mustard like us canada or not uh, you don't see that high amount of yield okay so the promise is not that right that they are going to give you higher yields then also you know technology a patent will come into play here so patent provides gm crop developers a dangerous degree of control over food supply right so thus a domination of world food production by few companies so that is also a concern raised because food security is important and you, and you do not keep uh, you know give this control over this food production to few companies by providing patents and all so that is the issue and again with respect to uh, uh, their credibility high yield in the sense uh, you will also we will also see with respect to bt cotton so bt cotton you see uh, despite that uh, in 2015 it was subjected to uh, white fly attack in india so white fly attack destroyed you know large amount of cotton uh, you know in the punjab area so even the technology itself is questioned okay uh, gm crops and those all things are so remember these things uh, we will also see uh, what is uh, gm crops in india so regulatory mechanism and we will also look into you know gm 
uh, tree also uh, particularly with respect to rubber because it was already there in the it was already in the news a decade uh, it was in news but because now it has been planted in assam it has uh, again uh, came back to the surface so we will look into that also so this is end for today you can also download the pdf of this document and also you can download also download topper is app there you are able to get these videos much prior okay thank you